Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Ryzen 5 3600 XT. So let's get started. <laughs> Now before we begin, I do want to thank Micro Center for sending this over to me for review. And actually, as of today, it is available for purchase. So I'll leave a link down in the description for that. Now I did have a short time with this CPU, so I didn't really get to test much, but I was able to manage to squeeze out one benchmark out of this comparing between my 2600 versus this 3600 XT. And I'll be showing you that in a second. But what is this all about? This is the new CPU that AMD is offering, which is supposed to be faster than the X series. So they call this the XT, which I thought was a really weird naming convention due to the fact that their graphic cards are XT, like XT 5700. So that might be a little bit confusing, but it is their gamer tag version of this CPU, you could say. Now, as far as this specific CPU goes, um, it's actually at 3.8 gigahertz turbo boost up to 4.5. So if you compare it to the other ones, it is at a higher clock rate. Now, with that being said, what do you get out of the XT series? They promise about five to 10% performance increase compared to the regular X series and a couple of hundred megahertz faster, one, 200 to 300 megahertz faster in that series as well. Now I was comparing this to its previous generation, which is Gen 2 2600. And the benchmarks between those two is outstanding. So here I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, the Gen 5 2600 and compared to 3600 XT, it's almost a thousand point different from Cinebench R20. And if you could see, this is actually faster than a 1700X. So for $250 price mark, it's a really good deal, especially that it's outperforming a 1700X. Now I'm interested in getting one of these guys as well, maybe a 3900 XT or a 3800 XT, since I am using a 3800 on my main desktop. So I am interested to see how much of a performance I will see out of that because when you're doing video editing, CPU is basically much needed just to get all the effects generated and stuff. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are about this CPU. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as the same in Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.